All right, traders, let's try this again. I tried to make this video while the market was uh, still live, and uh, for some reason I didn't have any sound. So we'll give it another shot here. Okay, this is just a quick video uh, based on the auto trend lines uh, from Ninja Trader 8 combined with our black and white B4 trend model. So this is the sterile model right here. Uh, the model that's uh, not colored or uh, edited with uh, the marker scripting. So uh, what I wanted to do based on some of the comments in the room today, we were looking at uh, the trend magic crossovers and you know I stated that um, that was one of the first things because it's real easy to test in Hello Win is uh, just this simple crossover on 90 days and it definitely does not have on its own does not have a statistical edge. Now there are some days when it can't lose, but that's not every day. And over the course of time, you know, it'll just, it will kill you. And you know, the data proves that. So what we're looking at is just a way to potentially uh, filter the trade, take the, uh, take the crossover when certain things exist. So all I did was with Pablo's help from Markers, I looked at one of his videos on how to edit the indicator in NinjaTrader 8 and make it so that it will uh, alert you when a trend line breaks by placing a vertical line on the chart. And then I've got it set to where it shows you all the historical breaks. So the red vertical lines indicate this trend line here broke to the downside this blue line indicates that these two peaks connected and it closed above that trend line. So that's the general, uh, I guess, uh, lay of the land for how this works. But uh, so anyway, I'm not sure if this will help or not, but it's pretty neat. And you know, is there's a couple of applications for this. So number one is, you know, when we had we've had bearish structure all the way down and we keep getting these little trend line breaks little trend line breaks but we don't get a crossover okay so here we get the final trend line break from this down trend line that uh, connected there and you know you have that crossover of the trend magic lines after the um, after the trend line break that makes sense to me so you know that's uh, that's something that you know I resonate with. So here's one that this trend line broke here, but this is a deep pullback. We never got a crossover, so when we go three to four bars above, I, you know, I want to bet that it's going to go higher. So here we have the trend line that broke again, right there. It shows you that little trend line, and we get the break, and you get the crossover. So that's one application. Let me see if I can find another one uh, that really uh, I really like during consolidation. So you can take take a look at these um, and see if it makes sense to you. I, I put these things. Uh, yeah, this is a good example here. I made these lines really thin so they don't uh, mess up your chart. So here we have a bullish market that's ranging structures bullish slightly but we have the trend line break it shows it right there it gives you immediately gives you the uh, vertical line and you know we get start getting the blue bars so you get the up triangle so I mean you can ever how you want to enter you could you could enter a trade like that right there So I like that aspect of it. Yeah, here it is again. So we're bullish structure, but we're just ranging, chopping back and forth, back and forth. Um, I like to eyeball these, but um, but again, I'm not consistent in executing on them. So we get a higher low, we get the trend line break. It gives you the blue bar, and then you know, up you go, chance to get your five, ten points, whatever you're you're after there. All right, so let's uh, let's review the bidding on what this looks like. Here's another good example, um, two good examples. All right, so you get the trend line break here, which is the same as breaking the swing 
uh, indicator, which uh, Abdul likes to trade to get the break there. Uh, we're in bearish structure. We get the trend line break here, blue line, and you get the crossover. So pretty neat. Yeah, here you go. Uh, again, you're visualize. I'm visualizing these. Uh, you get the break. You get the crossover. You know, it's good to go. Beautiful here. Same thing. Get the trend line break. Uh, get the crossover, and you're taking the trades. So you can look at these as you get the break, crossover, B4. Uh, that's another way to to look at these. Here we have same thing again. Trend line breaks and get the crossover and there you go so yeah pretty neat all right uh, about the indicator though so i had to create hopefully this indicator will load for you guys in the template i, I adjusted the template and the uh the template name is the bwb4 auto tl uh, sterile model so that's that's loaded in our chat section. It's also inside the uh, the template template folder as well. Now, when you load this, when you queue it up, I the default setting is five one twenty five. I just have I changed it to seven one, left it at one. So I changed the strength from five to seven. Always make sure that this alert on break is checked. Uh, you got to have that box checked, otherwise none of these vertical lines will show up because that's what this is. It's it's the alert function. That's that's where this is coded at. All right, I've tried this on a higher time frame. I've gone from like three, a strength setting of three up to 50 just to check it out. And this seems to be pretty good. But if you guys use it, you like it, tell me what you uh, what settings you, you prefer in there. And uh, hey, we'll go from there. Hopefully this uh, helps you. And uh, we'll see if you're in the room at the opening bell Monday morning.